Hi guys and welcome to today's video which is a Q&A about me which is an odd one but since it's my birthday I thought I'd do one because <laughs> so many people have questions for me so let's start off with this one have you had any experience with snakes at all and if you had room would you get a pet snake so quite a few people actually asked me about snakes I've had experience in terms of I have stroked many burr constrictors uh, when I was four at a zoo they had one out I was like yeah I'll stroke it um, when I was nine they had like a 14 foot one that had just eaten a rabbit so there's this like bump in its body stroke that one and when I was 13 I was in a zoo and I held a massive like 14 15 foot bear constrictor i don't know why all of these are bear constrictors i guess they're quite common and i have heard they're really not that aggressive um unless you're a rabbit but you know um i wouldn't really want a pet snake i'm not scared of them they just don't interest me as much not as much as lizards i think i just like things with legs like even skinks you know they're really on thin ice because I'm like mm-hmm are they legs really really skinks I'm now having a conversation to myself about skinks oh my goodness <laughs> but yeah I just I'm just a bit more passionate about lizards the next question is what was your first reptile how old were you when you got your first gecko how long have you had lizards and how old were you when you first got your lizard so gizmo was my first ever reptile my leopard gecko i was 13 when i got her and she will be 10 in a few days which leads me on to the next question how old are you i'm 23 today i know i know you probably think i'm 12 i'm 23 <laughs> Then the next question is, what got you into geckos? What got you into reptiles? What made you get a leopard gecko? All of that sort of thing. Um, I've just always been really interested in animals in general. Love natural history, love um, animal documentaries, and reptiles are always slightly more special to me. I think because I was a massive fan of Steve Irwin, and he really focused a lot more on reptiles. And so, I don't know, I've always, I always wanted one. I went to a reptile show, they showed you a whole range of reptiles, they handed out a leaflet at the end and a leopard gecko was in there. And for three years after that, I did tons of research, I saved up money, and then I finally got Gizmo. The next question is, who is your celebrity crush? I have two, Jason Momoa, Roman Reigns, they're very similar. But what I've noticed is when you're younger, you watch Disney films and you're like, oh my god, I want to be a princess, I want a prince. I was like, mm -hmm, no, I want a treehouse in a jungle and I want to marry George of the Jungle and have like an elephant at the end that's just married on its back. That was my dream. <laughs> if you had your dream job, what would it be? I always, always just wanted to do some sort of job when it comes to helping animals. I'd love to work as part of like... A conservation team especially with reptiles and amphibians their numbers are declining so quickly that it would be so awesome to actually impact the world in a positive way and help bring back a species from the edge of extinction next question is would you ever get a rabbit and did you have pets growing up if you did what were they so I wouldn't get a rabbit because growing up I actually had three rabbits and they lived for quite a few years so a massive chunk of my childhood was looking after rabbits so I, I sort of feel like being there done that I'll look after people's rabbits as you've seen but I just wouldn't have another one as a pet as for pets I had like goldfish that lived for years and years rabbits and giant african land snails but then in between because we like my parents wouldn't buy too many pets they would allow me to look after animals so like every spring i'd get frog spawn and then i'd raise them all up till they're froglets and then i'd release them and then i had newts and they had babies and they had little oh my god baby newts are the cutest thing and then obviously i had like wood lice and worms and caterpillars and all the stuff i have today so not much has changed but pretty much from the age of three or four i've just always had pets what is your greatest fear see i said that all about animals but my greatest fear is horses terrifying terrifying <laughs> and there's a question about a human family um if i was a seahorse i would have a human family i mean i wouldn't because i'll be a seahorse but i just mean you know the whole pregnancy giving birth thing's just not my thing if you could make like a portable womb where you just put everything in and be like mm-hmm 
I'll deal with you in nine months. That might be okay, but then kids are very annoying. Mm. I'd rather have kittens and puppies and baby lizards and just surrounded by baby animals all the time or a little baby sloth or a lemur. Oh my goodness. Like when people get a new pet and they post it on like Facebook, I'm like, oh, when people give birth to another baby on my news feed, I'm like, oh, for God's sake, it's another baby. Like it does, it's like some of them are cute. Just get a puppy or something, you know what I mean? Never really been uh, interested in having kids. Not my thing. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to have a menagerie. I might be that old woman, you know, that like nobody sees and they kind of smell. And they're like, that woman has like every kind of animal in her house. She never leaves her house. Oh my God, that is going to be me, isn't it? Oh dear. Oh dear. Well. Wow. Glad knowing you guys. Anyway, do you think you will ever do another room tour and not just showing the tanks? I thought the room tours were to do with tanks. To be honest, I have... I don't really watch that many reptile videos and I don't really watch too many room tours unless they're like a one-off because if you're going to do them really frequently you've got to be changing stuff otherwise it's just the same old thing and that's why I don't really do them frequently because I don't feel like much has changed. I am actually doing a little fairy garden for my birthday I well I'm getting a lot of stuff for, for from my birthday for a fairy garden I want to build which is going to go in my room so I might show that in the room tour but I will be doing a room tour at some point next question is if you were to go anywhere in the world where would it be and why I'd love to go to Madagascar because they just have some of the most unique wildlife and is like disappearing as we speak so it's very precious and um, it's an incredible place I don't know there's loads of places but Madagascar would just be like that ideal place and the last question is what other reptile would you have apart from crested and leopard geckos so quite a few people asked me a similar question but they said I couldn't choose a gecko or a lizard however the only other animal I have recently looked at or actually for the last few months looked at is a day gecko now I can't stress enough that I will not be getting a day gecko because I don't have the room seriously in a tiny house where all the reptiles can only live in my room so my room is a reptile room with a bed so there's no more room for a day gecko but they are just incredible animals I think they're somewhat easy to look after and they're from Madagascar so it all ties in doesn't it the other thing is though I would love a natural tank that has land and water in and like have little frogs in there but it would be sad that I wouldn't be able to hold those frogs so much because I do like to hold my pets but they those kind of tanks are incredible anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video it's um it may have taught you a few things about me I'm going to be an old woman that lives in a chicken coop with George of the Jungle and a portable womb. Um, that's about it. <laughs> I don't know why I got higher and higher there. But thank you very much for watching, guys, and goodbye.